you know, we got all this love for all these out of town motherfuckers, but do we show our own people that kind of love? I guess not, considering that, you know, niggas just killed my friend Charlie Kahn, shot him in the back of the head. 51 year old man, father, grandfather, never did nothing wrong to nobody, community activist. He was such a good dude. We shared the same birthday, went to the same Seventh day Adventist church, Ebenezer, 17th, I'm sorry, 15th of Christian. Like, how the fuck does that man get shot in the back of his head coming out of Chris and Neve show? And from what I heard, Power 99 wasn't too, you know what I mean, supportive of that. Because they so clear channel. They so clear channel. Fuck Power 99. They fucked over Wendy Williams. They fucked over D. Lee. They definitely fucked over Cosmic Kev. They let Meek Mills fuck over Cosmic Kev and didn't say shit. What happened with that? If it wasn't for Cosmic Kev, Meek Mills would not fucking exist. Wow. Would exist. Cosmic Kev built the meek that everybody grew to love and don't nobody acknowledge that shit, not even Power 99. Don't, let's, let's we not forget, when Cosmic Cavs was on the airway, you couldn't manage to go 15 minutes without hearing a Meek Mill track. Sure. He practically sat the back cave waiting to pick up freshly mixed demos so he could pump it all over the Delaware Valley area. And then when it came time to sign a contract, you ran off with that goddamn procure, that motherfucking ghoul, Charlie Mack, and go run to Will Smith. And I, that's why that nigga fucking stick his dick in your ass and left you the fuck out there. Because you fucked over kids. I hope he fucked you good. I hope you, I hope you fucking have nightmares about it, Meek. Because you ran. You ran all the way to Miami to Rose. But you never apologized to Cosmic Kev. Never, not once. You ran off the faggot ass Rose and sucking Diddy dick. I guess any dick will do as long as you are right. Meek. I know how you fucking started, bitch. I watched the person that make you. Make you! So fuck Power 99. All y'all play is Drake and Drill Records. Eat a dick. Play some real fucking um, Philadelphia hip-hop catalog. Put back in an old school show. Show these kids that you can make records, be famous, and live to see the proceeds. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? Mm. Fuck out there. That's what I got to say about Power 99. Eat a fucking dick. And thank you for uh, eroding what's left of the soul of our, our, our fair city that has now turned into a goddamn fucking carbon copy of Gotham City. So just for the record, you have no problem with Cosmic Cab. You have no problem with some of the people that paved the way for Power 99. It's Power I love 99. Cosmic Cab. All right. Guys, Kev is one of the greatest, uh, one of the greatest contemporary DJ, G DJs of the Delaware Valley area. Made it all the way to DJ from W W E E, and, and paved the way for so many fucking niggas to go mainstream in multiple markets. That's a fact. Yep. And don't nobody talk about Cosmic Kev. What's the lyric that my friend Proof wrote for Eminem that he pretended he he sung? Nowadays, everybody want to talk like they got something to say. But nothing but comes out when no, they, they did. Slip. Just a bunch of triple rich and motherfuckers act like they forgot about Kev. Mm. Fuck y'all. Fuck you, Meek. I'm going to tell everybody how weak you are, Meek. Respect your elders, youngin. Kev made you. And you ain't going to be out of trouble until you fucking do right by him. I'm going to do the, uh, the uh, Whoopi Goldberg until you do right by Kev. Everything you think about goes <laughs> fuck bitch. Fuck you. Go find another fucking go find another fucking billionaire's dick to suck. Hmm. <laughs> Whole ass nigga. And I'm glad that you and Nikki got together. I'm glad she ruined your fucking life. I just wish y'all could have left it down on the school kill river like you was planning to. That would have been fun. Ooh. See the bombs already starting to drop, bro. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, anyway, please sue me. Oh, by the way, I got some new merch coming. The first T-shirt is going to be a picture of me with my middle finger, my middle finger picture. And it's going to say, <coughs> please sue me. And on the back, it's going to have hashtag Jag don't get no fuck. <laughs> 